Jennifer writes, One day, my toddler exclaimed, I love you, Mom. Well, I was curious about what makes a three-year-old tick, so I asked him why he loved me. He answered, Because you play cars with me. When I asked if there was any other reason, he said, Nope, that's it. <laughs> well, my toddler's response made me smile, but it also made me think about the way I relate to God. Do I love and trust Him just because of what He does for me? What about when the blessings disappear? Job had to answer these questions when catastrophes claimed his children and demolished his entire estate. His wife advised him, curse God and die. Instead, Job asked, shall we indeed accept good from God and shall we not accept adversity? Yes, Job struggled after his tragedy. He became angry with his friends and questioned the Almighty. Still, he vowed, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Job's affection for his heavenly father didn't depend on a tidy solution to his problems. Rather, he loved and trusted God because of all that he is. Job said, God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Our love for God must not be based solely on his blessings, but because of who he is. Focusing on the character of God helps us take our eyes off our circumstances. 